Hey guys, well we're in the workshop here and have we got an interesting truck. Now other than the colour you know, of the vehicle choice being really out there, um, we've actually got a wolf in sheep's clothing over here. This is a full Japanese spec grey import 60 series. Um, a good old truck but running a 12 HT engine and this is a full 24 volt system so probably you know at the height of the Land Cruiser 60's um, production line. Mm -hmm. So Rich, what do we have to do with this vehicle? Right, pop the bonnet, you can have a look. Yes, that's pretty, mate, that's interesting just looking at this. We've got a lot of extra workings on inside here, busyness everywhere, wiring. We've got a, what's looking at it is an additional aftermarket front mounted air to air intercooler. Um, yeah, there's a lot on you. So, what do we have to do? Well, one of the requirements is that we consolidate and rework all the wire in front to back. Okay. Now, this is definitely needed. As you can see on the front right hand battery here, so much wiring coming off of there. We want to get yep. rid of all that. And when we go down further, you've got split tube here. There's just, there's tons and tons and tons of it. Working across the back bulkhead there, there's even more yep. split tube, more wiring. That all needs consolidating. We don't want to see any of it. We want to bring it as stock as possible. Over there, yep. um, on your side, we've got the 1225 uh, Red Arc. Yep, over here. That's going to be moving yep. into the rear. Okay. Um, and tidy up the wiring again. As you can see, it's, uh, there's just loads of it. It's all okay, through. so basically, clean up, get rid of anything that's not working, mm -hmm. maybe. You know, sometimes there's an old wiring pulled in for a light that doesn't even get work anymore. Get rid of it, man. Some, you know, right. There's stuff that would have been fitted to this car years ago, probably doesn't even work anymore. Just terminate it off underneath here, I can, can see. Just need to get, right. it, get rid of it all. Good, all right, and then? What yeah, else right. is there? So we've got the, the wiring up to the, the light bar and the spotties on the top there. Yep. As you can see, mate, the split tube there is far too big for the wiring that's inside it. It's ugly. So yeah, oh, it's just coming up there next to the snorkel pipe. That's right. Pipe. So so okay. we'll get we'll, we'll try and um, just clean that up. Clean it up. You won't hopefully won't see it like that. It's, it's awful. So then inside. Yep. Let's have a look. So as you can see up here on the uh, the roof, the centre roof console. Yep. We've got some additional gauges here that have been put on aftermarket. We're going to yeah. be taking those and put them down on the A pillar, uh, okay. freeing up the space up there for some storage. That's going to be good. Um, we've got the. The switches for all the light bars and the spotties, um, there, there's like four or five different switches here. We're going to consolidate them down on the centre console here. Into one workable spot. Really. That's right, mate, yeah. Okay, now I just love the inside of this. The original mm -hmm. browns, the original brown dash, mm -hmm. really good old 60s, beautiful, yeah, mm. okay. So yeah, so after this, we'll be going into the back. All Take right, you out there. Let's have a look there. All right, Rich, while we're at the back, mate, what have we got going on? Right, so you've got the existing dual battery yep. in that old box. We're going to take that out. We're going to anchor that to the ground. Yeah. We're going to take the 1225 from under the bonnet and bring it back here. Okay. And that's all going to be encased in a custom um, marine ply, you know, high-grade carpeted box right here. Okay, right next to the drawer system it, over yeah. there. And then it's just a small case of, you know, running through basically the wiring and the side panels as well. Yeah, um, also, yeah. Gonna, about a speaker or something? Yeah, take the, there's a sub in that side panel and yep. a load of wiring behind it. Gonna take all that out, tidy up all the wiring on the back bar here. It's just all f loose and... Okay, for the yeah. auxiliary cables and That's so it. on. That's okay. yeah. And then we also have the customer's um, camper trailer. Mm -hmm. And so one of the things of the requirements is that we actually run through the cabling that's gonna be feeding that. So in other words, the Anderson down at the rear down there and the trailer plug, just to make sure that the camper trailer is charging up as batteries, that's it. Working, the lights are working. Working in harmony with the vehicle. In harmony with one mm -hmm. another. Yes, it. Fantastic, well, let's crack on, eh? Yes, nice one. Well, Richard didn't waste any time getting stuck in this one. Now with these older trucks, there's a lot of wiring running through the vehicle that's not necessarily needed. So it's a case of not just cut and snip and throw away, but mark and label and methodically go through the entire vehicle, seeing what we need to take out as we work our way through it. So we've done a lot of stripping of old wiring and basically tons of cabling is coming out of this truck. There's a lot of redundant wires and spare cables that are just not needed anymore. The other thing we noticed is that this car actually used to be an automatic. So there's piping off the engine that used to go onto the automatic gearbox, which is not needed either. So while we're in there, we noticed that and removing those as well. Next step is sorting out all of this cabling, um, making sure it is going to the right places, labeling it up and making it look really schmick. Now, guys, we're obviously not going to be getting finished on this this week on Fit Out Friday. Um, catch it on another build. Um, where we can show you the final product really it's going to be absolutely stunning have a great weekend guys and don't forget to go bush catch you later